Boys, is Jay Cutler lazy? Because I just don't think no. he is. I don't think you can make a hundred and twenty million dollars and 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 say someone's lazy. I just think this is a show that is pro Jay Cutler. We are Jay Cutler's <laughs> side here. Uh, because Say what you want about the guy. His personality is whatever. But to say some guy is lazy, you go to the media. I think the whole thing is weird. We, we're big. I'm a big Jay Cutler guy. I've always been since I, I thought he was a good. He was a good quarterback for the the Bears, best of all time so far. Hopefully, um, Nick Foles comes in here and wins us <laughs> the Super Bowl. <clears throat> but um, I, I think it's all pretty wild though. Like they they said they were going to keep it quiet, and then Chris Christina Cavallari is that how you say it? Christina Cavallari? Kristen Cavallari, yeah, Kristen Cavallari. Uh, comes out and has different stuff about how lazy he is and how uh, the relationship was. He, people were going out behind the scenes that Jay Cutler wasn't as nice as he was in front of the camera. Like, no duh. Like, he, he didn't want to be those cameras to be around. Yeah. Like, he didn't want to be there. Here? Like, where have you been? Like, have you seen his interviews before? Dude, Jay Cutler. He's not and, fake. And, and like, he's here's, I was fake. talking to somebody about this today. No, and, and like Jay Cutler is an asshole. Like I think we can all agree to that. Like but like, she knew that. yeah, he's an asshole. All right, but like she's been married to him for like ten years. She knew what he's That's been crazy, like to say though. he's you lazy. Not like the dude be a professional quarterback. Got railroaded for years by you know defensive linemen and then linebackers. I think he, the guy's made enough money. That he's allowed to just kind of you know let this yeah, one eat for a little while, like give the guy a little bit of a break here. Play with at the Bears were pretty bad, um, but like I said, you can't say that the guy made 120 million dollars as a professional quarterback and say he's lazy. Like I feel like there's got to be yeah. some sort of not laziness there. Like, yeah, that's the thing. It's, yeah, he earned that 120 million dollars. He didn't just walk yeah. into that and like yeah, look into 120 million dollars. Like no, like, he's time. a damn good athlete. Yeah, he had to work his butt off, and he got drilled for years. Like he is one of the toughest quarterbacks to play. Like you can talk, say what you want about the Packers hurt. NFC Championship game, whatever. Like that's a he's that was that's a was bad hurt. injury you can't play through. Like the, that guy was hurt, and since then though he played through other nagging injuries. He he was a type of guy who he didn't want to slide or go out of bounds. He wanted to lower his shoulder and hit somebody. He's not a lazy guy. Plus. This is just a hiatus for him until he starts broadcasting, yeah, which I'm seems like the next step. That goes. Him. So that's another thing. Like he's not—he's taking a couple years off in my book. Like I don't know, maybe maybe she sees it differently, obviously. But I, he made in my book, he's just taking a couple years off before he goes he back. Wants. Like that's a lot of money. That's so much yeah. money if you really do think about it. Like, and he was a quarterback in the NFL. He started. Like, I feel like you can't. Like, if you were lazy, that wouldn't work out. Especially yeah. when her life yeah, is literally a reality yeah, show yeah, and a right. jewelry store, which yeah. she probably does nothing with. It's probably just people like that That's she hired to do it for her. Like I, I don't know how much she really does. Like, come on, like she's well, and someone who even got rich and famous off of just being on a TV show, like, and hasn't done I guess anything I since. So, like, like his personality on the show is kind of like you'd almost seem like he's lazy, but you just you couldn't be. Like he couldn't be. He can't be. It's not possible. Not possible. No. Uh, no. And when, and when Boom is on, he is is like, it's good. something new. Like, she's been around this forever. Like, she's known. He, he probably hasn't no. changed a whole yeah. lot. He's probably, you know, still a person he wants to be. And, like, I'm not, I, I don't, per, like, personality wise, I don't think he's a great guy. He's a but, like, guy. He's, he's it's not like fine. this is 90 Day Fiance. And they put a gun to her head and made her marry this guy. Like, it's, I don't know. It's, any time in a divorce is going to get ugly. And like, it's you just, you know, Jay Cutler. Yeah. Yeah. He's not going to respond. Well, this is the same guy though, that was partying in Wrigleyville at sluggers, I believe. And a guy walked up to him in the, in the bathroom and they were peeing next to each other. And he was like, Hey, I went to Vanderbilt and Jay Cutler looked at him and goes, <laughs> don't care. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's the same yeah, guy. Like, kid. what are we expecting from him? Yeah. The guy's not, he's not a nice, like, personality like but that's that's not you know i'm not married to the guy so i don't care like it's and keep saying it's not like she had a gun put to her head the guy's been a prick forever 
You know, let's take it easy. I don't know. I think it's just Hollywood nonsense. No, he's an asshole. I'm not a fan right? like of his personality. But well, that's fine then. I I just you have your asshole quarterback. Distinction, I have though, my asshole I think quarterback. We would say yeah, exactly. Like, <laughs> and we have Mr. Trubisky, the I nice guy. Look where that's gotten him. He's yeah. on the list of quarterbacks. He's just there right now. Nick Foles is my quarterback right now. 